Hello loves and welcome to the latest edition of the Yeti Bartender where I take a Yeti tumbler and make a delicious cocktail out of it. I'm using a giant size today because this was going to be a two person cocktail but I'm using my beloved Baelish Irish cream and no one in my family really likes it like I do so I'm just going to make one but keep in mind these bigger tumblers are perfect for two. Anyway this is a good one friends such a good one for all you chocolate lovers. I am making a Bailey's chocolate martini. Have some chocolate sauce, some chocolate shavings, which I'll show you how I get the curls, a chilled glass, some whipping cream, which gives it just that little bit of decadence, some creme de coco, which I just love to say, my favorite Bailey's, and my favorite vanilla vodka of all time, Stoli's Vanilla. This also makes a great key lime martini, which will probably happen in the future because you know how I love key lime pie. And the creme de coco is what they use in grasshoppers. I never knew that before. Anyway, here's what we're gonna do. So as always, we take our Yeti and in it we put some ice. Always fill your Yeti about half full with the ice. We have one ounce of the vanilla vodka. And you could totally use regular vodka too, but I just like the flavor of the vanilla. So you're gonna add that in there. I've got an ounce and a half of the Baileys. I have three fourths of an ounce of the creme de coco. And I also have an ounce of the heavy whipping cream here. You could totally use like coconut cream or almond milk or some other kind of milk replacement, but I just love the decadence of it. You could even do half and half. So we're gonna add that in here. Now, before we shake it, we're going to get our glass ready. So you wanna take your chocolate sauce and you want to just kind of coat the sides and the bottom of your glass. A lot of it is gonna float down to the bottom, which makes that last sip extra yummy. But there you have it. And like I said, I have the chocolate shavings here for the topping, but it's so easy to make, you guys. I just take a Hershey bar, or you can take like a baking chocolate bar, whatever you have, and you just kind of shave it with a vegetable peeler right along the edge here. So you just kind of go, see I'm getting a curl there? And there you have it, chocolate curls. They were so easier than I thought they were. Anyway, so I think we're ready now to shake our Bailey's chocolate martini. It's gonna be so good. I've already practiced this one, so I know it's delicious. So here we go. Mag slider top back. And we're gonna fill our martini glass. Now, what's gonna be extra yummy on top is some whipped cream. I'm gonna go grab that. Ooh, ready whip is just fine. Here we go, you ready? This is what's gonna make it extra pretty. You could do homemade whipped cream, you could do coconut whipped cream. Look how gorgeous that is. Then we're gonna take some of our little chocolate shavings and curls, sprinkle that on top. And you know, I like mine to be extra pretty. So I'm gonna put a little sprig of mint in there. And there you have it, a Bailey's chocolate martini. Cheers, until next time on the Yeti Bartender.